If you got cash in the bank, you need to listen to this video. Since 2019, we have seen over 20% inflation. That means in 2019, you worked really hard for a whole week and you made $1,000. With 20% inflation, that $1,000 is only worth $800. Now, because you kept that money in cash in your bank, saving it, who wasn't paying you any more than one or 2% at the time, you've actually lost value from your past. So that hard work that you put in is now worth less. But if you take that cash and you invest it, say in a home, the stock market, or even better yet, Bitcoin, your cash value would have went up faster than the pace of inflation. For some simple math, let's think about that $1,000. You saved it in 2019, now it's worth $800 in the bank. On March 9th, 2019, Bitcoin was roughly $3,800. If you put $1,000 in Bitcoin at that time, you'd have got 0.26 Bitcoin, almost 0.3 Bitcoin. At the price that Bitcoin is today, $68,500. If you multiply $68,500 times 0.26, you'll get roughly $18,000. So if you keep your money in cash in the bank, that money went from 1,000 to 800. You lost 20% of the purchasing power of that $1,000. But if you put that $1,000 in something like Bitcoin, and if you did that in 2019, that 1,000 would be worth $18,000 right now. That's why it's important for you not to keep cash in the bank. Take your cash Take any money that you're saving and invest it. If you can't buy a house, buy a Bitcoin. Think of it as digital property. If you look at the history of Bitcoin, it has only gone up and to the right. Will it go up? Will it go down? Yep, but you're not touching this money for 20 years. This is the money you're either gonna use for your retirement or you're gonna give to your kids. So begin to put a little bit of money into Bitcoin every day. If Bitcoin is too volatile for you, then put that money in the stock market where you'll see an average of 7% per year, which is gonna keep you pacing inflation by a little bit. But the bottom line is don't keep your money in cash in the bank.